Good morning from Utica, New York. And I had a roommate last night, Emil Heinemann, who I played with in Lexington for two years as well. And he was sleeping, it was 11 o'clock last night, lights were off, the room phone starts to ring. I just, like, just try to like hang up the phone, get the sound off because he's sleeping. Somehow it answers the phone, goes on speaker, it's the coach, he's calling say, that Heino is getting called up to the NHL and there's a car that's coming to pick him up in the morning. So uh, we, were, we were celebrating that a little bit. We were pretty fired up about that. So I'm stoked for him, but he's now gone and uh, I got my room for myself. But today is game day Friday. Uh, Dobish is gonna start in that. I'll be backing up. Tomorrow, Saturday is gonna be a practice day here. Sunday, we're gonna have a three o'clock game here again against Utica on the road. So we'll see if I'm gonna be playing that one. But next up, it's just gonna be morning skate. You can actually see the ring from the room. It is this little pot right here. So on a day like today when I'm not starting, I still need to prepare. I still need to recover because uh, anything can happen. I could get a phone call right now that uh, Dobie is not feeling good or something can happen during warm up. So I could I could go in at any moment. So I still need to prepare for that. And sometimes I take a nap. Today I'm gonna skip it since I want to prioritize my nighttime sleep. So I won't have any any issues falling asleep after the game and then get ready for for tomorrow's practice that way but uh usually i like to toss on the firefly recovery product here on my feet um, it kind of hits the nerve back of the knee uh, makes my foot twitch like this and that kind of pumps the blood uh kick starts the recovery helps out with that and even uh sometimes before skates i throw it on um, again, uh, from extra warm up. Then I also want to get a little bit of editing done uh, since there is this four or five hour window of, of doing nothing. And one thing I want to also do is do the Sensorina VR training since I probably won't be getting that many shots during warm ups. So it's something to kind of get some extra reps in and helps with the preparation as well. So do that eat a little bit of food, just hang out, relax before it's time to head back to the rink for a uh, seven o'clock puck drop. Saturday here in Utica, um, pretty simple, quick practice day today. Got some lunch, got some coffee. And the only thing I gotta do today is go to Target, take an Uber, it's like uh, 10 minutes away. There's stuff that Whitney wants me to bring back that they don't have in Canada. 
uh, get some cheap toys for Fox, obviously. And it's also a good way to just get out of the hotel room and not stay in bed the whole day. But tomorrow is a game at three. I'll be starting, so gonna be my second game very excited for today was a good practice felt good so I'm hoping to take that to the game tomorrow and I guess I haven't really explained this PTO professional tryout that I'm currently on a lot of people thought it was like a couple days a week thing but it's 25 games on the schedule which will take me to about mid-February I think and it has a normal salary just like in any other NHL AHL deal depending on obviously what the team team wants to pay you but I would say it's pretty common I was expecting to get a PTO as as the, the season started going and it's it's great way for the team to just not commit to someone who hasn't played in North America for a couple years and uh, hasn't played the start of the season so I get that part of it after the 25 games I think they can sign me to another PTO if they want they can offer me a real contract I think any time obviously and I think they can drop me at any time so so there's that but I think I can still sign with different teams too but right now I'm just fully committed to being here with with the rocket and um, I treat it as a normal contract and you know just I'm excited to be here just kind of show what I can do and help the team and um, not worried about that contract stuff that will take care of itself and for example Michael Hutchinson a goalie signed a PTO with Grand Rapids Detroit's team I think it started the season Detroit signed him to an NHL contract and they needed to him to get called up with some injuries going on so so I would say it's a pretty common type of contract to be on and I'm, I'm happy about it so I'm just get somewhere to play some games so uh, I'm all for it but yeah just fired up to be playing again tomorrow Last two seasons of Exxon in the Swedish Hockey League, a former AHL All-Star in 2020. Controlled by Laval, Farrell centers in front, they score! What a goal! Genie goes off a step. Back to Schmelzer, now foot again. Schmelzer, through the seam, Helen shoots at a save, score! Barbara Jacquet scores! A long shot from the right point goes in. It's passing Garis, has a little bit of room. And Garis is in! Save Kaskasuo! Attack, they'll step in, Ryan Schmelzer. Curling, dragging, fanning, shooting, scores! <laughs> Two on one. Geniak is in with Davidson. Davidson scores! One-timer just found its way in. Up the puck at center ice. He's a lefty going wide to the right. And scores on the blocker side. He's got it. Left shot way, way wide to the left. Now back to the middle. Scores. The game is over. Laval wins it in a shootout. Two games, two wins. 4-3 uh, after the shootout against Utica and 39 shots against. Um, but the two points is the most important one for me. Being here trying to help the team climb up the standings a lot of shots which is nice to uh for my first couple games back uh just kind of get a lot of those game scenario situations see a lot of shots trying to you know uh get my feet wet again playing playing hockey games and get used to that and i think uh that's been very helpful seeing a lot which i like we also took a lot of penalties especially in the second period i think there's at least five or six i feel like we're killing penalties all the time so uh, that's also good i mean we got the win so and nothing else matters and 
um, kind of seeing a lot of situations for only being playing two games. But it feels like riding a bike, you know, just getting those, the first one out of the way and the second one, it felt, felt normal, felt comfortable, felt like myself five years ago playing in Utica again. So that was fun. First goal was another power play goal. They made a nice pass out to the front, came out, he shot low. There's a rebound right in front. Uh, pretty much instant rebound goal. The second goal was a two on one. Uh, we had a forward playing defense and the guy righty kind of had the middle. So I have to respect the shot on that. So it's a tough play. Like I said, forward was playing defense. He moved the stick, they made the pass. Um, so I kind of had to reach, reach for that if he was going to one time it, but he kind of like grabbed and shot it against the grain. So I'm kind of reaching, trying to put all my gear, all the junk out there trying to cover as much space and he goes against the grain and he just goes goes here so uh yeah that was after we killed all those penalties and uh yeah to, i think it was to tie the game or something like that and then third goal uh is the one i would have wanted back because it was kind of frustrating but their guy was coming uh the puck kind of got loose and then it was loose puck or 2d man and then he kind of just wiped it there's some sticks in the play Hits the post, I think it hits the back of my skate and behind my, behind my leg, goes in the net. Uh, it was one of those where I didn't think it, there was a chance that it would go in. And then, yeah, I mean, battling that whole second period and then just give up a third goal. That was that was, uh, that was was frustrating ones. It was a good mental test to see how I react to that and kind of let that goal away and uh, go out for the third and battle for the win. and. Uh, yeah, game one in the shootout, we tied it up in the third, and then uh, a couple shots in overtime. Shootout, I think we we scored our two, and uh, they didn't score on their two, so it was quickly over, a big win for us. But a lot of good, again, uh, trying to keep the game simple, get to my spots, not do too much control, control rebounds, all that kind of stuff, and especially with the power play, getting to my spots, good stops reading the play, I think all that stuff is clicking for, for my second game of the season. So uh, that's definitely helps with the confidence and, and moving forward. And we build on that. I think we have a lot of games at home here coming up. So that'll be fun to play again at, at Play Spell, which is always rocking every game. That's gonna wrap up the video. I'll try to get these out. I try to do it once a week, but uh, obviously hockey is hockey's number one. But downtime here at the hotel, I'll try to trying to clip this stuff up so for you guys to enjoy but uh yeah make sure to subscribe you don't miss the next video and uh thanks for watching